hello guys this is Asam and today I will teach you some you know, tricks how to convert the 30 fps spark footage into 60 fps and some small other tips here and there uh, so pardon my uh, weak English and let's start uh, we will use Adobe Premiere Pro 2018 for this uh, for this work you have to have the access of Adobe Premiere Pro. You can use other versions as well, uh, not necessarily 2018 CC. So we'll start a new project. Spark tutorial. So this is the interface of Adobe Premiere. And you just need to drag and drop your footage. Suppose this is this is the project of footage we are uh, looking to change just drag and drop into the timeline so the footage will come in the timeline and you can see in, into the monitor here you can scrub the timeline and choose any portion you want to work on suppose I want to work with uh, up to this portion and I, I can uh, cut out the remaining with this result tool select this portion and click delete so basically I am uh, trying to work on this area only uh, so to convert the 30 piece footage just click on the footage go to the sequence menu sequence setting and editing mode to custom and choose time base to 60 frames you are almost done hit ok Uh, just one more thing uh, right click on the footage on the timeline and choose interpolation to optical flow this is very important it will make the interpolation just like uh, perfect just perfect just like DJI Air or any other uh, 60 piece footage it will look very smooth so you are done so another thing uh, I want to um, I want to show you if, if you if you want to add another video like we we are working on this 89 uh, if you want to add another video you can just drag and drop uh, onto the other timeline see from this it goes the next footage or you can put it here as well. Um, if you want to add any transition effect you can see here look up to here uh, video transitions dissolves and there is different kinds of effects I like the deep to white effects just drag and drop to here and just see the dissolve effect see nice so you, you can use any kinds of transition effects from here I am deleting this portion just to show you the transition effect another thing you need um, uh, often in drone footage to speed up some frames uh, suppose uh, you, you have uh, started from here and you want to jump into here so how to do that very easy uh, just make a cut here and this is how I do it and there are many ways to do it you know? And this is how I do it and go to this frame and make another cut and choose this portion and go to the speed in duration and make the speed twice or thrice like mm, 400 so it becomes very fast even make faster speed duration 600 so it's going, going, going. Then it's become fast. I want to make it even faster, like like this, and drag the remaining portion here. And press the space button to play, and there is the speed up version. I want to make it even faster. 
so that it finish very fast like this and let it here yeah. look going going boom speed up and here yeah. so this is how we can speed up the uh, s certain portion of the footage to maintain uh, the interest of the audience and then you can uh, adjust the color settings from here uh, essential graphics uh, lumetric color in fact uh, you can adjust the curve adjust the contrast here or you can work with any channel like you want to uh, change the blue you want to increase the blue or uh, cross match uh, cross color the blue or add some green to it see it becomes very nice okay so so how how to export how to export uh, export now what is the file export media then choose H264 it is my favorite format and it is very nice uh, it gives a very high quality footage then go to the bitrate I choose between 30 to 40 uh, 30 to 40 bitrate gives a very high quality video and give an output name I am saving it to the desktop like spark test now hit export it will take some time to export uh, the whole video to render and depending on your computer speed um, when it is exported you will see your frame, your footage has been converted into 40 uh, sorry 60 fps and when you upload it to youtube it will also show up the 60 fps uh, thank you for the uh, watching see you soon